had to like uh, try to um pretty much spin the little stick on the controller faster than everyone else and the person who was doing that like it was some sort of mini game where they just spin the stick really around really fast and supposedly um what <laughs> there's only one stick on the uh, N64 controller so uh supposedly people had problems with that because with the N64 controller because the N64 controller is made out of cheap plastic and uh, um like Supposedly, people would just pick, put their hand and just put it down right on the middle of the controller and just move their hand, like, I, like just move their hand down. And it's like, um, people, I guess, did it so fast and, like, they did it so much and, like, the controller was, like, just, obviously, the controller, I had to say, the N64 controller was not well built, okay? I just say, like, um, uh, standard Microsoft, like, official Microsoft Xbox 360 the controller is way better, I think, because I'm, right now, I'm using, like, a Microsoft-made one, like, even though most people use Microsoft-made ones, you guys, if you're, if you get a controller for any console, I really recommend getting the official ones, like, if you ever want to buy a controller, I know sometimes getting a Mad Cats controller is cheaper, but remember, there's a reason the, like, the off-brand controllers are cheaper, like, when you buy, like, a GameStop or a Mad Cats Xbox 360 controller, there's a reason they are cheaper, and that is because they either break really easy, they're made out, they're just made out of complete crap, or they're, you know, they're not built, it's, correctly and stuff, it's like, <laughs> I, uh, I had a, see, the thing is, is that the GameStop controller, the wired GameStop controller, uh, for 360, it, it works on PC and 360, I, I, uh, bought that, uh, from, like, I actually went to the GameStop store and bought the GameStop controller. It's a wired controller for, th that's 360 that I, I bought for $20, and it literally broke, uh, the, f like, the first or second day that I got it. It was a piece of crap. And, it, it's not, I it wasn't banging it a, a lot or anything, it just kind of, like, I don't know, like, the control stick, like, fell out or something, and, it was really bad, and, um, if you just buy the standard Xbox, uh, like, Microsoft official ones, they are, uh, pretty good, like, they're pretty well built. Now, I don't really know much about the Xbox One controller, I have used the one, I've used, like, the Xbox One controller for, like, not too long, and it, they're okay. I haven't really been able, I haven't really used them a whole lot, because I don't have an Xbox One, but I have played on an Xbox One. But here's the thing, I can't have a real opinion about the PS4 just because, um, just the simple fact is that I never played on a PS4. I played on an Xbox One, but I haven't really played any exclusives on the Xbox One. Now, I was playing the Xbox One on like a 120Hz monitor, so I think, maybe? It was, it, was, it was a monitor that was playing in 1080p and had a really good refresh rate or something. It looked really good on that monitor or whatever, but, um... Yeah, I only played Battlefield 4 and, like, the first mission of AC4 <laughs> on there. Like, we didn't play a lot of AC4, we just kind of went back to Battlefield 4. So I, I, I played Battlefield, I had Battlefield 4 on myself on PC, but I was playing Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One a little bit. Um, I just know there's a lot of problems with, like, the friend system. I know they fixed that now, but, uh... Yeah, I just went over to my friend's house and kind of played the Xbox One. I actually played it the day it came out, because, uh, my friend actually got the Xbox One the day that it came out, so I was supposed to play that at his house, but, um, it's okay. I think, it just what I heard, though, like, it just sounds like the PS4 is a whole lot better, but as I said, you know, I don't really, I don't have any friends that have a PS4, actually. Um... There's one, one of my friends says he is getting a PS4, but I don't think he has one yet. Uh, like, and this, okay, so I, this same friend already has an Xbox One, but he said he's also planning on getting a PS4, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Ah. Uh, the PS4 sounds 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 better to me, but it's it's you know 
The only reason you're like, man, eight minutes, it's long compared to all the other levels, because most of that level was an auto-scroller, so that's why it gave me a B for an eight-minute playthrough of that. I bet an A would be like seven or six minutes. So, Dr. Eggman, how she says that is really weird. I'm just gonna take a sip of my Mountain Dew. I think I'm fighting Tails now again. I might be. I don't know. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think I fight Tails. <laughs> and then... Dude, Sonic is so stupid, he thinks that... <laughs> He's tricking me right now. <laughs> you are a big time villain, Doctor. You thought you could trick me with that fake empty. This music is pretty cool though. Even though they use a lot of the same little, like, music again over and over, but so, sometimes I, I really like the music, like, in the ending part of the game, it's like, live and learn. I really like that song, but, yeah. Her face, though, it's just the best thing ever. She's like, oh my god. Oh, Amy is like a whore, by the way. Amy is like... She is that hoe. She's that hoe. And Sonic is like, bros be whore hoes! And he just... But the thing is, Sonic never wants to get with Amy, and Amy always wants to get with Sonic. And it's weird. And then Tails is just that really good friend. And Knuckles is just that other guy who's like, sometimes, like, is is all nice with, with, with everyone, but sometimes he just disappears. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Tails is like a long time friend with Sonic, and I honestly, I don't understand why, so, a hedgehog a fox okay so a, he a talking hedgehog and a talking fox and wait is Amy another hedgehog? Amy's a hedgehog right? god dang it yeah so Amy's another hedgehog right so okay, uh, okay. so it's like Dr. M M Man is a human okay and then <laughs> there's just Sonic and did wait? Hold on. Did Tails just hurt her? Him? So I always with the blowing up the thing. Oh my god. What the? Okay. But yeah, it's a talking fox and a talking hedgehog. I don't understand why. And then there's a human. Oh god. No! Wait, one hit. Yeah! Wait, I died! Oh, dude, I had no health. I had no health at the end there. And it still, and it still counted, because I killed- Oh my god, that was like, perfect timing. If you walk, looked at the last second, I, I, my health bar was at zero. Legend has it, when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. All mine. I don't think so. Shadow. So that was your plan. Or was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. 
She said that she's rude to bat earlier anyway. So you did your homework, is that it? I would say that's an invasion of privacy. I could say the same thing about you. <laughs> Looks like things aren't quite going your way. But since my job is done, I thought it was time to take what's mine and get out of this place. You are one pathetic creature. Yes, she is. She has the worst levels in the game. Here are the results. I agree with you, Shadow. He's like, fuck you, bro. Shadow. I agree with everything Shadow says. It's still me, Shadow. Okay. Final chase. Was there only 14 levels? Well, Okay, yeah, this is the last level. I thought there was 15, but I think there might be only 14. Well, I you still I still fight Sonic after this, but um, but then then after that there is the last campaign. It's literally just called Last Campaign, <clears throat> and uh, that pretty much there is two boss battles, and uh, well, it's technically the same boss battle because. You, you guys will see, but um, yeah. Um, there's kind of like two sort of levels in 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 that one. Oh god. Oh wait, no. I forgot. No, there there is actually a legitimate level in that part. I forgot. And sometimes that one takes me time. Um, actually, the thing about the last campaign is that. An item, God damn it! Item I grabbed as Knuckles actually is very, very, very important in that level. And it's like that's and it's really the only time that I actually took advantage of it. Um, that I'm going to take advantage of it. But first, I gotta get past this level. What? What was that? Why did it go over the? You know what? Since I got, I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> I was about to say since I got zero lives, maybe I should just restart the level. I think I might. And like, not waste my time doing this. Anyway. Really? I'm just gonna go forward, not even gonna worry about killing it. Oh hey, I'll just, yeah, I'll just jump over too. Okay. Yeah, but these little like... Spinny things are kind of cool. It's like it's just another little cool mechanic that they put in. I think it's only in this version of the level, like only in Shadow's version of of Final Chase. Because you haven't noticed that at least I, I didn't really pay attention to the other level, but this level is the same name as the one that was in the. Okay, that make that's that's fair. I, I couldn't even move out of the way of that, but then me hit, get hit by that. What? How? Okay. We had to restart. Yeah, okay. We'll just have to restart the level from the beginning. It's okay. We can do this. Hurry to the Eclipse Cannon. Anyway, so, um, have you guys ever actually played this game? Like, that's something I want to know. Like, 
God dang it. No, stop it. But yeah, have you guys uh, ever played through this game? If so, uh, what platform did you play it on? Uh, also, uh, did you ever beat the game? And uh, did you like the game? Do you guys like this game? Like, was it one of your childhood games? You guys even like the Sonic games, like, I, I, I never really played a whole lot of the older ones, like, the t older 2D ones. Um, I kind of played, I played a little bit of, like, Sonic Unleashed, which was okay. Uh, I played, I haven't played Sonic Colors, I haven't played, uh... There's a lot of those ones that came out on like the 360 and PS3 that I haven't really played and like some like were also on the Wii as well. I played a really. Yeah. I played a little bit of uh, Sonic Unleashed on the Wii. I think it was. I played it on, and um, that one was okay. I didn't ever actually get to play through the whole thing. I never played Sonic 06, which I heard is a bad game anyway. It's really broken and. I mean, I watched a speedrun, though, and that was pretty cool. A speedrun of Sonic was 6, because they used some really cool glitches. And I thought it was really funny, actually. Um, like, I'm like, okay, most times they exploit a game, like, really hard in speedruns. Especially when it has, has a lot of glitches, and I knew that Sonic 06 was a very broken game. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what they do in a speedrun. And they skip, like half the game. Now, the speed run, I think, was only was only Sonic's campaign. I don't think they actually... I think they might have done Silver. I, I don't know. I don't, sorry, I don't know what they did in the speed run. I don't remember. It was a while ago that I watched it. But I don't think they beat everyone's campaign in the Sonic 06 run that I watched. Okay. Um... Come on. Uh. Okay. There's a there's a Sonic game that I had on my GameCube at some point, uh, called Sonic Heroes. Now the thing is, Sonic Heroes was kind of cool, but it was really hard. At least when I was little, it was. I. God damn it! There was a. Checkpoint right there, too. Yeah, this level is hard for me sometimes. But yeah, there was a... <sighs> oh, hey. Got another life. Um... But yeah, Sonic Heroes. I, I never actually beat that game. And... Yeah... I don't know, I'd like to one day. Another game that I played a lot when I was little, and this is, I, I watched this speedrun from AGDQ 2014 several times, excuse me, several times. It's the uh, Donkey Kong 64. Uh, I love that game so much, and it's one of those games that, see, because it's kind of like, a, it was kind of like a game where I could just explore and like just have fun and go to different, like I just kind of like going to the different levels that I, that I understood how to actually get to. And just kind of messing around. I did. I did actually do some of the boss battles and stuff. It's just that most of the time I just visit the different, like go back and forth between the different levels because I didn't really understand the whole point of beating the game. Like when I was little, like I knew that I had to in every like area. I had to get a bunch of bananas and feed them to these fat hippos, and then god damn it, and then they would give me a boss battle, and then I would be able to unlock the next area. Um, but I never beat the game because there would always be that level. Um, I think I got to, like, Fungi Forest, I think. I also got to a level where... Uh, okay, so I also got to a level where it was, like, a pirate ship type of thing. But I don't... What, see, here's the thing I don't remember. I don't remember if the pirate ship level was like an earlier level, or if the, the uh, or if the uh, what do you call it? 
where the fungi forest was an earlier level. But, uh... And I, no, I wasn't doing one of those things because I know... Really? Really? I keep on messing up on that. Because I know a lot of the sp speedruns, like, kind of skip. Uh... Speedruns skip, like... An any percent run in, uh, DK64. They, uh, skip, like, half the game. Uh, so... Yeah, they skip a lot of, like, levels in the, uh, speedrun for DK64. But, man, I would love to do some playthrough, like, a playthrough of Donkey Kong 64 and, like, actually beat the whole game. Um, but here's the thing. Right now, okay, so my brother, he, uh, long story short, he doesn't live with me anymore because he moved in with his girlfriend. And, you know, he's, he's, like, in college. He's, like, 20. Hey! Never found this first shadow before. What's that? Whoa, how far? I wonder how far in the game it teleported me. Anyway. Uh, what the? Really? Oh my god. I went back so far. Again. God dang it. Anyway, yeah. Oh my god. This is... Hold on, I wanna try to focus real quick. So, jump over here. Really? Really? I was about to fall off. Really? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was, I was dead there, but... Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Oops. What? Are you, you? You okay? These these controls are. Okay, this is gonna take forever. <sighs> anyway. My brother has. Long story short, my brother doesn't live with me, and he has my GameCube, my Wii, and my N64. And also, I would need to get a converter box to actually record the N64. Now, a lot of you guys are probably saying, just play an emulator. But for some reason, I. So, I actually downloaded an emulator for Donkey Kong 64. And. For some reason, I lag like crap on DK64. I might try like uninstalling and re-downloading the emulator and see what see if that helps. For some reason I lag like crap. And I can't figure it out. I tried changing a bunch of settings on the emulator and I I don't know. So if I get the emulator working correctly, I might do a playthrough of it on an emulator, but here's the thing. Oh my god, I'm getting call. I'll be right back guys. Sorry about that. Uh, it was corrosive bacon. He called me, and uh, I was just like, "Dehle," but uh, then I realized, like, when I tried saying hello, I realized that I literally just missed answering the call, like, like a second, like it, it stopped, like, actually letting me answer. Like I, I sl literally, like I, you know, okay, so you know, on the iPhone has this slide to answer call. I literally, right as I'm sliding it, like right at the last possible frame on sliding it that to answer it it's uh it's up ringing and i didn't notice that and i was like do hello do hello and i was talking to nobody and uh then i, I just called back oh uh, okay there's nothing i could have done there this is why i tell you that this comes from because okay so here's the thing about that that when you go through this it's not there's not a scripted path it's just kind of like however you end up so you're not scripted to go straight on to that so if i so sometimes like you're not stuck to a path where oh you you know you're stuck in this straight line and it's gonna make you go on it nope 
nope. It's just however you walk into it. There's nothing I really could have done there, and it's, yeah. Sometimes this game, man. Okay. Whoa. I mean, what? I haven't had a death at all this this series. Not one death. There we go. I teleported. I'm a magician, guys. Okay. Uh. What? Are you freaking kidding me? How could I have done anything? This game is so, like, unforgivable. It's just. It's insane how. How buggy this game can be at Sun. It's not really buggy, it's just it's not done correctly. It's like sometimes. This is why they should have a proper remake of this game, like like an a PS a PC, Xbox One, and PS4, like proper complete redo of this game. Like just have the same pretty much the same cutscenes, you know, same story, same you know, same levels and stuff, just you know you know you know, like, just completely redo the mechanics, like, it's all the same mechanics that you have to do, they just make it work better. And with, like, a newer engine and stuff, like, they can make everything work better. You know? And they can make the game look a lot better, which would be cool. But obviously right now, any, any Sonic project is exclusive to the Wii U and 3DS, which I wouldn't want them to remake because the Wii U is pretty much last gen hardware and I don't even want them to make a Wii U version at all because then they have to make they have to limit the remake a little bit to have some some Wii U port no I just want a PC and next gen port like remake of this game and the thing is is that they can make a multiplayer uh, have like um, Xbox Live. Now, I don't know if the Xbox 360 version of this has online multiplayer. I'm pretty sure the Steam port here doesn't. Uh, and I don't think it does because there's a mul there is a multiplayer here, but I think it's only local, uh, only lo like on the same computer. I'm guessing that for the Xbox version as well. Like the, uh, battle mode stuff. Uh... That was that was introduced on the GameCube version. Yeah, like this part is very similar to the uh, Sonic level, but they added more of the they add these things and also that thing where the place where I just went up like a a ramp and and stuff like that was a that was a rail that was a rail like in the Sonic version. Instead of just a ramp. And also, that version was easier because, it, or this version is easier because in the Sonic version, where all those like gravity things was that would that carry me, pretty much carry me to the end of that area. Um, there was railings that you had to jump on. It was actually kind of harder. Like I feel that the dark side sometimes is a little easier. Like in some points, it, it's easier, but. At some points, it's actually kind of harder, and it's just this level I'm always get stuck on. Oops. I always get stuck on this level, in the hero and in the dark. I don't know. It's just so it's just due. It's just due to like bad controls and stuff, and well, that's my that's that that's that's that's, that's my uh. I guess that's my, uh, what do you call it? My... I, I know the word, I'm just... I'm, I can't... It's like something on the tip of my tongue. Uh, it's like... It's a, it's a really common word, I just... Uh, sometimes... You guys ever do this where it's like, you know what you're trying to say, just sometimes... You just don't know. Um... 
It's my excuse. God damn it, yeah. It's my excuse. That's what I was looking for, but sometimes it's just like... Even a simple word like excuse, like sometimes it's just like... Uh, duh, duh. Yeah, that's my excuse. That there's bad controls. <laughs> oh, hey. There we go. There we go, I finally got to the end. Now I think we're going to the Sonic fight, maybe? Or maybe there might be another level after this. I, I don't know. Enough. I think there's a long cutscene or something. And then I think there's another cutscene and then there's Sonic or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay, no. We're fighting Sonic now. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know what can I say? I die hard. Die hard. The movie. What are you anyway? It's a good day to die hard. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Yep. Okay. Sonic. Time for me to finish this. Okay, uh This might be the first time in this I mean, yeah, obviously I beat Sonic earlier earlier, but this might be the first game that you actually beat up Sonic as boss? Maybe, maybe not. It might have been. It's just weird the fact that Sonic actually gets beaten. Hold on. Okay, I don't know. Okay, uh... know a strategy to actually beat Sonic here. Like, I don't know, there's probably like a way to easily beat him. It just like, it, sometimes it just lets me... Sometimes it just kind of works. Like I don't know. Sometimes it just it just it just works. Oh, I didn't even mean to light dash there. I don't know how to actually kill him here, because it's like... There we go. Nope. Nope, I fell off. Okay, I can beat him this time, I think. Okay. Wow. 
I know how to him to do this. Oh, or you don't you don't miss, but there we go. That doesn't. Next time I try, he'll just jump over it. So. So I just kind of got to do that again. One, one time he'll actually let me hit him. He fell off the edge, but he's just like, Chaos Control! And then if I fall off, I can't do anything. I killed him when he was using a Sonic Win. I got hit, but I killed him. <laughs> and so we just beat the Dark Campaign. It's just a cutscene now. And that is the end of the dark campaign. Uh, yeah. Here's the credits again. I don't understand why they put the credits after just beating one of the campaigns. Why don't they just put the credits after you beat the, the last campaign? I don't understand, but... Yeah. Excuse me. Um... So, how'd you guys like the Dark Campaign? Which campaign did you like better so far? Uh, so which campaign do you like better? The, the uh, Hero or the Dark? I think I like the Dark Campaign better because it's kind of easier. And I, and I really, I kind of like Shadow better than Sonic a little bit. It's kind of cooler. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's people here. And... These uh, credits aren't actually too long. They're, it's like a minute or two, I think. Uh, there's, you know, some games probably have way longer credits than, uh, than this. So. And then, uh, the, uh, as long as you know what you're doing, the uh, last campaign isn't too long. Um. Um, there's not really much to say here, you know. Um, so, in the next one there's like a level that, uh, it's kind of a long level, but not really. Uh, and it's, it's kind of a different level, because you play as, like, every, I think you get to play as every character in the same level. It's kind of weird, but, I know once I see that ADX sign that the, Freaking cutscene, the, the credits are almost done. But yeah, guys, I, I think there's another little CG movie, that, like, after we beat the, the hero campaign. Uh, there's another little CG movie you can watch here. Like, after it does this. Uh, 
um, after it goes through all this, like it, there's a little. Sonic Adventure 2, last episode. Wishes are eternal. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you guys saw that. Just I wanted you guys to see all the cutscenes. So, guys, I want to. I'm gonna kind of make it a different recording session that I do that. But um, yeah. So you guys enjoyed the dark campaign. Subscribe and leave a like. And uh, yeah, ho hope you guys enjoyed the last campaign coming soon. Goodbye. Let's do this.